A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Good day, Imperial Marchers! I'm on silent and we're on the air with Star Wars! The Empire Strikes Back! It is a dark time for the Rebellion. Although the Death Star has been destroyed, Imperial troops have driven Rebel forces from their hidden base and pursued them across the galaxy. Evading the dreaded Imperial Starfleet, a group of freedom fighters led by Luke Skywalker has established a new secret base on the remote ice world of Hoth. The evil Lord Darth Vader, obsessed with finding the young Skywalker, has dispatched thousands of remote probes into the far reaches of space. So from 1992, in time for the 15th anniversary of Star Wars, this is Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Developed by Lucasfilm Games, as it was known at the time, and Sculptured Software, published by JVC. This is a Star Wars platformer game from the 8-bit era. Now, I've never played this before, other than to get it set up for recording. I saw it once, and only once, in my local blockbuster. Luke, the sensors show that a meteor is landing near you. Go check it out. But tell me, Han, is there enough life on this ice cube to fill a space cruiser? Sounds not great. But somehow, this game won Nintendo Power's overall best game of the year for 1992, apparently. Don't ask me how. Oh, it's flashing. That means it's probably dead. And there, it's dead. So, yeah. This is, uh... I figured since uh, this is the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back... Luke. Lightsaber is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Or is it as more civilized... That's an elegant weapon for a more civilized age, I think it was. Should know that line. Woo! Crap. I'm getting chased by Wampus. I was gonna say, in testing this game, I figured out, like, one little trick. It's that if you do that, you can load up- if you crouch, you can load up a jump. That's all I got so far. And you gotta give the- Oh! God damn it! You gotta give the Tauntaun a little bit of warm-up room. If you're going to... You gotta give it about a step if you wanna... Oh, that's the same bridge. And if you wanna do the high jump. Yeah, you know, we're just gonna... We're just gonna go this way. Old platformers, right? There we go. Um... Oh, can't get past that. Alright, I uh, get off with SELECT. Because reasons. They don't look like wampas so much as polar bears, do they? Anyway, yeah, I was saying... Ow. Because it's the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back on May 17th... Because... I, I knew that switch because, one, I looked up the controls, and two, choose force power is on start. Therefore, that has to be on select. Listen to that thing hum. I don't know if it's supposed to sound like that, but it sounds like that, so we just gotta deal with it. What a bad take on the Williams score there. Got them both, we'll get a couple of hearts for our trouble. So, we will carry on, carry on. I just thought it was fun, it was worth doing- Oh, wait, uh, can I cross- Now, that's the same sort of gimmick that we fell through up above. Can I run across that? I can run across that as Luke. Alright, everybody remember where we parked our Tauntaun. Oh. L3 charge. There we go. We'll just swing, flail madly with the sword. The laser sword. 
Does it add health? Does it... I... Steve actually pays attention to what the controls are for once. And then all of a sudden, he finds himself hopelessly lost when he runs into anything different. Alright. Luke. You must go to the Dagobah system. There you will find Yoda. Or was it there you must seek out Yoda, the Jedi Master who instructed me? Been a while, been a while since I've watched him. Oh, crap. I am way down. Come on, back here. There we go. Blow him up. I don't think we're going to be able to make that jump back up. All right, left or right? Let's go right, since we've left our Tauntaun behind. Almost missed that jump. But we're fine. See? Well, maybe we'll be able to find our way back to the Tauntaun. See? We're fine. Maybe we can get back to the Tauntaun from here. Oh, I was going to say, what new music is it giving us? No, it's still giving us the, uh... Start of the, uh... Start of the, uh, Battle of Hoth music. And from Throne Room 2. Yeah, I don't- I think I've lost my Tauntaun. I don't think I could get back to it. Well, that's a shame. Eh, we'll just say froze before we reach the first marker, if anyone asks. They'll buy that. After all, that's what happens to Han's Tauntaun. Alright. I'm assuming we go right, because... If you guys are... Ah, okay. Apparently, don't go in the water. Okay, maybe just don't go this way at all. Man, this whole loading and jumping thing, it's not for me. Let's just load up the crouch and then load up the jump and then... Maybe we can keep going this way. Oh, no. No, we can't. Well, I guess we find out what's this way. Now... Oh! Yes, we can! We've made it back to Matauntaun! Ha-ha! Go me! We can blow that up. Ah, crap. Okay, we froze the Tauntaun. I told you. It was gonna freeze by the time we reached the... Ah. Okay, that didn't go so hot. In a very literal sense. Luke, choose the Force. Choose the Force? No, uh... I was going to say, no healing there? Oh, we got a, an F. Get your Fs in chat, I guess. Can't get any, uh... Can't get any hearts off of those guys? Well, it's a good thing we don't have fall damage, either. Well, we're going to try. Anyway, yes, I was uh, so I was going to say, I, ha I saw this once. In my local, uh, Blockbuster. We did have... In our local blockbuster. Luke. Use the force powers to defeat the Wampas. Oh no, not Wampas. That's not good. There was a... I, I had played the a copy of uh, it's Star Wars. Fight. Hey, a bunch of health. Alright. So where's this freaking Wampa? Ah, there's that freaking Wampa. How does a Wampa get Imperial March? Ha! Ah, now watch this. Don't need to beat no stinking Wampa. Yes, we do. I'm stuck. There's an invisible wall there. I was gonna say, haha, we don't need to... We don't need to beat no stinking Wampa. Now we're just gonna... Is this mooning me? Is that freaking Wampa mooning me? Anyway, 
I was gonna say, there were, I did play the copy of Star Wars for the NES. I couldn't get past Tatooine on that. Now, can I get past Hoth here? That's my goal. It is a little different here than it is in the actual movie. Except for the whole... Luke being able to chop up a wampa. He's got no health! How is he still alive? Thank you, I will, I will catch those flying star gimmicks. There we go. That was fine. Kid, that meteor is an Imperial probe droid. You better destroy it quick. Thanks. Thought I got a few of these bastards. Oh god, another one of these stupid... Well, at least it's better than... It's better than the NES Star Wars game, which was basically just a bunch of, uh... Can I turn off Force Jump? Nope. Which was just a bunch of a bunch of caves where you pick stuff up out of, including a lightsaber and a Ben Kenobi. Oh, and then there was that really annoying Java seg the Java Sandcrawler segment to rescue R two D two. God, that was a hateful segment because it was crushing things because it was crushers. And, and lifts, and conveyor belts, and it was just like the worst thing I... <laughs> this, this instantly is so much better. I still don't understand, after about like 10 minutes, how it could have won Nintendo Power's best overall game for 1992, but hey. I don't write for Nintendo Power. In fact, no one writes for Nintendo Power because I'm pretty sure it went out of business a few years ago. But that's not surprising, print media. Went out of business. I'm surprised it didn't like switch to online or something, but. Oh, apparently I can. S apparently you can, s you can slice through that just by standing there and swinging. Well, good news, we figured that out. Can we, uh, blow it up there? Blow it up real good. All right. No, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, balls, balls, balls. I'm dead. It's like it's laughing at you. Bastard probe droid. All too easy. Apparently it was. It's a continue. It's not even lose a life. It's a continue. It lives in the, in the original NES Star Wars. Choose your force. Choose the force, Luke! Yes, I know it's an Imperial Probe droid, we better blow it up. At least it's... No fall damage. Um, at least... Let's go the right... Oops, uh... We'll load up and do one of the... No, we won't. Go this way. There we go. We'll go to the right, because one, you always go right. And two, I'll pick up the force, recharge. I assume that's what the F is. I think that's what the F is. No, I figure if we go to the right, we're fine because it's a platformer. Platformers, you always go right. I always question that rule, but it is it is founded in reason. All right. Shit. There we go. See, that was fine. And there's a health there. Ha ha. That's also bullshit, though. That is admittedly incredibly bullshit. Hey, let's have a blind drop that gives you death. That is such a... That's such an old gamey thing to do. I am just gonna hide here. Well, uh... I'm just gonna hide here because that worked the last time. I noticed the last time he wasn't going the whole way across, and this time nor is this he going the whole way across. Maybe we'll just go go ahead a little bit. And kind of hit him in the ass when he starts mooning us. I mean, that's just a disgusting, disgusting act, and, uh, and 
I apologize for us having shown you that. And people who get that reference get that reference. I just made a vin I just recorded a Toka 2 video where I made a, uh, a a Minnesota Vikings reference, and now I get to make two in the same day. <laughs> How about that? Although you won't see, I don't think you'll see that uh, Toka 2 reference for another week and a half. But hey, is what it is. Because I'm recording this like this is going up on the Sunday or the Monday, and I'm recording this Friday night. So hey, pretty current. Still waiting to see what everyone's doing for. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Maybe I'll watch Empire Strikes Back this weekend. Actually, maybe I'll watch it on, on yeah, maybe I'll watch it on Sunday. I, I actually wait a minute. What am I saying? I didn't watch. Uh, have it's been a while since I've watched Empire. I watched Empire, or at least part of it, on May the fourth. Showcase, which is a, a sorry cable channel up here in Canada, has the TV rights to show some S Star Wars movies here in Canada. The hell was that? Holy balls. He can't shoot up. We found the way to... <laughs> We're just cheesing everything today. It's an 8-bit game. You gotta cheese it, right? Listen to that controller clack away. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's better if we just... Look at him get that foot into it. Look at him put his foot into it. He steps forward and he steps through with it when he goes to slash. Look at that footwork. I, I remember reading them saying that that was one of the things that they got. That was one of the best parts that they got. I am losing health when he comes up like that, though. So we gotta, we gotta take care of him quick. We can't, like... Can't uh, half-ass this. No, but I, I remember uh, seeing when they were doing the, the Clone Wars, the final arc of the Clone Wars... Uh, spoilers for the end of Clone Wars, for like the next 10 seconds. But when they got Ray Park in, that was one of the things they said they were missing, and they got from that, from his motion capture, was his footwork. Luke, that droid sent a message to the Empire. Better return to base. Hey, we beat the first level! I think this is probably better than I've ever done any NES Star Wars game before. How much farther do I have to go back to get back to Echo Base? Commander Skywalker, Imperial walkers are approaching. We need to slow them down so our forces can retreat. And what we need to do is stop them from blowing up the shield generator. That way they can't uh, bombard us from space. Well, they're speaking of shield generator. Oh. I'm just... Oh. I think we're getting close to the walker based on... Let's just speed up to the walker. How about that? Oh, it hit me. Harpoons and tow cables? Maybe we'll, we'll stay down. It's got a it's got a rear gunner. Ah, bullshit. Man, this side scroll. How many of these bastards do I gotta take down? Again, we found the cheesy strat. So that's one down. I got a whole whack continue, so hopefully it... Just run around in circles on it. We can't hit it with harpoons and tow cables. We could do this. Oh. Can we, can we blow it up like this? That's sweet. That's amazing.
What are all these S's I'm picking up? Ah! Oh my god, that's amazing! This is... I wasn't sure how close the walkers were going to be. You don't want... I don't want to get too far out in front of that walker. In case General Veers has some of his good men in it and they're able to take care of me. Oh, see that? See that? We gotta be a lot quicker on the turnaround. There. Man. Gotta be careful on that turnaround. Still manages to hit me. Yeah, just past the leg. Sorry. I think I think I'm starting to find a rhythm. And okay, because I'm thinking turn around. It's it's thinking side scrollery, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking like actually flying a damn ship. One more pass. That got him. Wah! That got him. I see it, Wedge. Good work. All right. Yeah, be careful on this one. I thought the armor was too thick for blasters. I am a little disappointed there isn't harpoons and tow cables that one can use on these things, but... No. Nope. Just cut it a little fine on that... on that turn. Oh, it got me. Hobby, I'm hit! Of course, Hobby is still flying for Rogue Squadron. Well, at least in Legends. Oh! There we go. That should be good enough. We'll take down this one like this. Run back here. I love that they incorporated that, and it's not just like a... Oh, no, it's just a pause now. Oh. Oh, it shot me. It's not very good at blocking things, is it? Perhaps you are not as strong as the Emperor thought. <laughs> no, perhaps I'm not. Wars not make one great, but, uh... Ah, uh, all the way back to the beginning. Are you shitting me? I ain't doing this all day. Try and keep it off the ground. Now we kind of figure out what the hell we're doing. Yeah, shaving a little too fine, but hey, it is what it is. This fine balance of when to turn, right? Turn too soon, you clip the legs. Turn too late, you're in the line of fire. So that, it's a nice, interesting balancing act. Not when they're going down, though. That, that makes it pretty easy. So now we go back this way. And it does have a little momentum system, right? So... Did clip me on the way by, but we'll, uh... Yeah, you want to make that turn just... as you're reaching those front legs. There's a lot of... There's a lot of walkers, though. There's, uh, what, another... I gotta do 10 walkers in total? Ah, turn too late. Yeah, so that's a lot of walkers to deal with. Especially if you have- if it's just the same attack pattern the whole, t whole way along. No way to recover health. Oh man, could have turned that boat a hair sooner. I think it's when I get to the legs. Yeah. Can't leave that. Can't be cute with that. It's the not being able to recover health. That's the annoying part. 
As much as I like the, uh... As much as I like the being able to get Luke out of his snow speeder to blow them up, not being able to recover health. There we go. That was a little better. Not great, but well, that was a little fine. Yeah. This is one of those times when I wish I put in like a game genie code so I could just skip. Oh crap! I did it again. And it's the not being able to recover health. That's the annoying part. It's such a fine tolerance. No, that, was, that was a little close. Trying to get a little more lead up, so I didn't. So I had more time to just shoot at it. Oh, I missed my turn. Went left, expecting because you're on the far side, so you think left. You gotta turn left to bank around it. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta push right because you're... Again, it's a side-scroller. Let me just turn the wheel around one more pass. We should be fine. There we are. There we go. Just like that. Nope. Turned too soon. Took one of my remaining four points of health off. I think we found the limit of my potential here. Or at least we have for today. But I don't think we're getting past this. That's... Oh! I do have a harpoon and tow cable. Well, I'll be goddamned. Hang on. Nope. Well, that's annoying, but... One more, one more! Well, that was fun. We got we got some harpoons and tow cables. Jansen did a good job. So there's four left. I mean, if I'd known that, we could. If I hadn't wasted two of them, I could have made this a lot easier. But well, the closer we can get to defeating him. We can almost blow it up before we have to switch back to Luke. Oh, that was a little hair close. But I think we've got like half a hit point. Of and a half a hit point of health left. Oh, maybe a quarter of a hit point of health left. But it's got one and a half hit points of health left, so... Half a hit point of health left. We're almost there. We can get him. You shitting me. There we go. Took me a minute, but I got... Got up there. We'll blow this thing up. Took that one down. Don't blow up as good as I remember I'm doing, but... There we go. Oh! There we go. We got back... We got back in our, uh... There we go. Got back in our snow speeder. Not great, but it'll have to do. I was really hoping. 
I was really hoping for some more harpoons and tow cables, but that might have been a bit much to ask, apparently. So we'll do what we can with what little we've got here. I wonder if we could get any pre-damage on, on... On one of those ones in the distance, but... In the meantime... It does look a lot more like an ATM-6, doesn't it? Then it... It's like big, tough, and I mean the legs don't, because it had those really weird, like, walking on its knuckle-type legs to the first order. Ah, I got blasted. One more pass. Yep. Just skirt around it. So we've only got two to go. We might actually be able to get past the whole path here. That would be fun. Get past the whole... the hearth section. There's more success than I was expecting in this, uh... I wasn't even expecting to get past the first area. I must be having one of those young at heart moments, because... I'd say... I'm too old for this shit and I won't be able to get by this. See, it's amazing when you're... When you're just flying, just this... You play enough hours playing, like, Rebel Assault and shit like that, and TIE Fighter, and... You know, this comes that This flying thing comes naturally to me at a certain point. So it's just like, yeah, just going around, blasting stuff. Bullseyeing Womp Rats like I was in my T-16 back home. Oh, got tagged a little bit there. But if we could take down this one... Oh, almost. I think we've got like half a point left. That got him. Or not. We can just... Woo! Right by him. Because we don't have to... Oh! Man, he's got some... Ah, missed me. Had a, uh, James Holzhauer moment there. <laughs> Brad's score is still on his screen. <laughs> oh. It was Jeopardy, uh, greatest of all time tournament. And game shows make great TV. But yeah, okay, so come on, we can take this last one out. Shame I don't have any harpoons or tow cables. I'll have to deal with this guy, even though we've got a fresh fresh uh, speeder. See, once you get them adapted to the cold, they're fine. Now, I'm hoping that this is it and we don't have to... ...any more of Veer's finest forces. That got him. Wah! That got him. I know. I'm gonna swap this out for next wing. Nuke Imperial troops are in the base. I'm cut off. I can't escape. Luke never went back to the base. You okay, buddy? Oh, there's ladders and everything. Well, we've... Well, at least they're using the, uh, soundtrack. Except that was from the start of the, uh, start of the battle. Why is there a scout walker in this base? Explain to me that! Oh, wait, can I use... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, it's a mini-boss. I see the little health gimmick there. Oh. You're beaten. It's useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. I think I will, actually. I, I think that's a good place for us to leave off, because I think, uh... 
I don't think I'm getting any farther than that. Although I did say that about, uh... I did say that about the, um... Snow speeder segment there. And I thought that about the Tauntaun section as well. Now we got ourselves, uh, decently far into, uh... Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back for the NES. And old ga old games are hard. Anybody ever tell you that? And then those Super Star Wars games for the SNES did the uh, original trilogy. I don't think they did a Return of the Jedi NES game. At least I never saw it at my Blockbuster. But I know they did a, the original trilogy on the SNES. And I imagine those have to be harder than this. So... Yeah. And this was hard. This gets worse all the time. This deal gets worse all the time. Anyway, that'll do it for Empire Strikes Back NES Edition. Until we see you again for more Star Wars, and Lord knows it's happening all the time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, Chancellor Star Wars is our speciality. We've got playlists on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.